Hi guys, welcome to our vlog. Okay, so it is no longer Vlogmas. Rip Vlogmas. It is now 2019, which means new year, new us. So just like all of the big and famous YouTubers, we are rebranding. Which means we are doing a Draw My Life like every single other YouTuber ever because we are not original, but who cares? Today, we are a neuron, and so you will get to see us draw our life as a neuron. So it starts with how we look. We're just going to draw you a picture of ourselves because we look fine as heck nowadays. Okay, so we... So here you'll see a drawing of all of our basic structures. And right now I'm going to quickly go over what a synaptic tran transmission like in in includes. So that is when a nerve Im Im impulse will reach an axon terminal and trigger a neurotransmitter release. So, so what happens first is that um, calcium ion channels will open in the presynaptic axon terminal and you will see that um in the very very left hand side of, of of the board and once this happens then the calcium ions will flood in to the terminal from the extracellular fluid and um this channel oh opening was caused by the membrane depolarizing which we will go over later and then this will cause a neurotransmitter release and the neurotransmitters will bind to receptors on the postsynaptic neuron which is the neuron taking up most of the board here and then the anal and the ion channels will open in in the postsynaptic membrane which we will go over later as i previously said and then finally the neurotransmitter effects will be terminated now we are moving on to a resting state and this resting state is really important because it is when okay um so here you will see um our ion gated channels for sodium and potassium that are embedded into the neuron membrane um so during resting state this is when both of our channels are closed and there is a higher uh, co concentration of sodium outside of the cell and a higher concentration of potassium inside of the cell. And this is maintained by the sodium-potassium pump, which uses active transport to pump three sodiums out and two potassiums in. The resting state, we are closed off. We will not be pumping anything in the resting state because at the beginning of our lives, we face many hardships and angst. We go through a lot of angst here at the beginning of our life. And so we just decide to close off not trust anyone not let anything in not let no sodiums no potassiums in we're closed off but you know what in the future that changes okay and the last thing that i want to add is that the resting membrane potential will be at negative 70 millivolts here is the time now where we are starting to let people in it is called depolarization okay the depolarizing phase is when these um is when the sodium channels will start to open and you will start to see a sodium influx um so you see here that the channel becomes open because the gated thing that is in front of it is moving away this causes the higher concentration of sodium outside of the membrane to diffuse down as concentration gradient into the cell causing the membrane potential inside the cell and around that area to become negative 55 millivolts we met some really important people during this time and we just decided to open up for sodiums to come in now we are going to repolarization Okay, during repolarization, the sodium channels are closed again, and this um, and the potassium channels start to open, which allows for a K plus efflux, and this means that the um, that the potassium is going from inside to outside of the cell. Next is um, hyperpolarization. This is when the potassium channels stay open, which allows for more K plus efflux. Um, from inside to outside of the cell, diffusing down its concentration gradient. So the membrane potential now will be more negative at negative 80 millivolts. It's just because we let so many people in because we're such nice people. And you know what? They just, they just overwhelmed us. There was just too much. It was too much. So we finally had to close back when we go back to depolarization. And then it's a cycle, also known as the circle of life. Okay, anyways, if you didn't understand any of that, we have a little song. And just some basic things that we didn't mention in the Draw My Life, uh, just to get some definitions out, out of the way. The 
action potential, which causes the signal tran transmission, is the change in the membrane potential in its electrical charge um, as, as the impulse moves along the membrane. And also, um, the... Oh, yeah. The neurotransmitters that get r released because of the transmission, they are being stored in the synaptic vesicles in, in the axon terminals. And um, also there is something called a electrochemical gradient, which is which has two components. Which one is the electrical gradient, which is the difference in the charge between the inside and the outside of the membrane. And also the chemical gradient, which is the difference in the concentration of the ions between the outside and the inside of the membrane. And one last thing, there is something called a refractory period. And that is when a... And, and there are two types. One is called the absolute re refractory period, and that's when a neuron cannot generate a new act action potential and because the um, sodium channels uh, change from open to close this this will occur during an action potential and a relative refractory period which is when only a really really strong stimulus can cause an action potential this is something called the all or nothing phenomenon with the dendrites that receive the signal this is the beginning of the action potential look at it go down the axon it really can flow watch it depolarize right in front of your eyes just one pump and three sodiums go out one more Pumping two potassiums in. Whoa, neurons firing. Here we go again. You know you can't live without it. Neurons firing. Polarize again. Slow down your concentration gradient. Four voltage gated channels. You need to reach membrane potential. Ligand foster receptors. Neurons firing. You need it to live, depolarization. The perikaryon is the body of the cell. The dendrites are there to receive the signal. Potential will go down the axon, it really can flow. Watch it depolarize right in front of your eyes. Just one pump and three sodiums go out. One more pump and two potassiums in. Whoa, neurons firing. Here we go again. You know you can't live without it. Neurons firing. Polarize again. Slow down your concentration gradient. Gated channels, you need to reach membrane potential. Ligand bonds to receptors, neurons firing. You need it to live. Depolarization.